Everyone, hi, welcome to Always Baked. I'm Cupcake, and today we have a very special guest. She is someone that is with me all the time, probably um, too much. Um, we have spent every Thursday together and have for the past five years. Make some noise for noodles. Yeah. Yeah. And make some noise for Jessica. And Jessica's well. here. She's not going to be in the frame because she doesn't want to be sleeping. Yeah. She, has she actually revealed herself on the podcast? She yet? has not. I've shown pictures of her, but I've never actually shown her yet. She needs to be a guest one day. Oh my God. Just Jessica in the chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wear April Fools. I was April Fools. I was in um I was in South Padre this weekend and I got a text from my friend that said, "Hi, this is Jessica." <laughs> I was like, "Wait, I'm your friend." Well, like I got a text from a number that I guess was my friend. It was, it was a new number and said, "Hi, this is Jessica." <laughs> and I was like, "Well, shut up." He was like, "Like, trying to get my you posting me some food." If, if the very first thing my cat said that was the text was, "Hi, this is Jessica." I would. I feel like it would make sense. It would make sense. I mean, what else? If if you your animals could say one thing, or if you could so say, "Can I have a cigarette?" Can I have a cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> right? Can I have a cigarette? I mean, I should have a cigarette. Does it bother you if I smoke? You go for it. Uh, this is your house. This is my podcast, my house. This is your house, your yeah. podcast. Exactly. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. So let me get a cigarette. And okay. So if your animals could say one thing to you, or if you could say one thing to your animals, and they would and they would understand it, what would you say to them? Like one sentence. You get one sentence so they can understand. And you could actually speak to them. What would you say? Listen to me, you little shit. Oh my God, stop it. No, I could put you down so bad. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Um, I feel like they do know. Like, they know certain words. They have triggers. They do, but I mean, like, literally, they could, like, understand. Like, a full English sentence. Girl, how would you um, say? I would say... I don't think I have anything to say. Well, like, what am I going to be like, I love you? Like I think maybe that's like the most they know that though. No. Your your pet knows you love them without you saying it. That's true. I think I might say, ah, oh, just like if you get scared, don't run away from me. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, that's always my fear, you know? You think she's gonna run away? No, I'm just I'm scared. Okay, this is my I have a friend whose cat fell out the window. Oh, like three stories. See, that's like but it survives. Okay, because they usually can. But did it the thing is, did she find the cat? Yes, but she okay. lived in like a uh like a apartment in New York and like the first floor had like a little roof, so they got stuck on the roof. So then they had to call the fire department. Uh, like, oh, so good, see, that's scary. Those She's like been uh, exposed to the fire department. Too, she has. Okay, that was my fear. Is like, so apparently, my friend told me if you have an animal, what you should do is train them so when the alarms go off, they come to you rather than hide. She's gonna come to oil cans. She's gonna come to oil cans, right? Exactly. <laughs> right. But like, because my fear was like, if if Jessica were to like get outside, I think that she would want to come to me but she might not know how like she might you know has she ever been outside she oh, this one makes me so sad is that like and this is her life all my other, well all my other apartments she's been able to have go outside and have patio balcony this apartment doesn't have one i feel like she misses the outside she probably does that's why she always goes under your bed because it feels like outside mm -hmm. it's hot it's hot it's hot under there mm. jessica she's so cute she's like the, she's the star. perfect little kitty mm -hmm. uh -huh. She really is. Okay, everyone. Now, gushing over my cat. Sorry. You know, sorry. That's just, what it, she's here. She's here. You I can't know. not acknowledge her. And you know what's crazy? It's that if you see other cats, she's kind of really tiny compared to other cats. She's so little and she has like the cutest little face, mm -hmm. big eyes. I, we always talk about the color of her fur, too. It's a muted orange. Muted orange. Which is so such, cunty, such a cunty color. Yeah. <laughs> strawberry blonde. Yeah. It really is like strawberry blonde. <laughs> she's perfect. This is the color of hair Mandy should have. Right? Oh my God, that'd be so funny, uh. right? Ah, okay. So Noodles and I are here. Noodles and I, if you don't know, we host a show called Cream together every uh, Thursday at Oregon Air East. Yes. Yeah, yes. we do. And um, so, okay, Noodles, do you remember me asking you to be a part of the show? Yes. I also remember, I was going to say this is like a full circle moment because when I first started co-hosting, there's, there's archived footage of it via Lisa Rose. Um, there was like a segment of Cream where you interviewed me. But I think it was. Well, I think really? it only happened for one. I think it was like the very first. Oh time. my god, that's right. Okay, so we used to do. We used to. It was like to introduce me to the to the even uh, the audience of seven. That's so cool, right? <laughs> even before COVID started, we my idea was for cream. I wanted to live the first live streaming. Yeah, we would we would live stream cream shows, and there's like hour and half and sellers on the ground. Yeah, and like literally, they're still on Facebook. <laughs> they're like, they're like they all got like uh, reported for music for music violations. Which I used to go back and watch those because I was so obsessed with myself, and that was like when I was first like getting. Uh, booked, right? And I was like, oh my god, 
It was just, I mean, no, it was a different time. It was a different time. That was so long ago. I mean, okay, so you, I remember you, you asked me like right after you had done, after I did the roast of you. Right, right. Yeah. So Noodles used to do, which shows. I feel like, I don't even remember really working with you that much. Like, well, I don't know why, I don't know why you chose to do me. I really don't know why. Like I, had we done any shows together before? I don't know. I can't, now that I'm like thinking back, I can't remember like the first time that we met actually. Maybe I like Barbarella, maybe? Or for like Poo Poo Platter, maybe? But I don't think, I don't know. I really don't know either. I don't know why, like, with like you, show the code. She loves me. I don't, this is why, honestly, this is why all the I think, since I think this is a huge, like, to me, this is what I look for in people is that you were like forging your own path. Like, you had done Half Baked, mm -hmm. that show, you had done Salty. Mm -hmm. And I was like, there's this girl who's like, not just trying to work at like bars and just be in a cast of shows. You were like trying to like you're in a mess. Yeah, I am now. Working at a bar, a cast of this right? No, I got you in. I fucking I used to in here. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. No, I appreciate that because when I first started Dragon Austin, like, well, I did Drag Survivor. You did do Drag Survivor, and I was like kind of a brat. Like, I didn't want to take their critiques. I was just like, oh, y'all don't fucking know shit. Like, meanwhile, like freshly from like Ohio, right? And I'm in like a bad bit. Performed though. like three times in my life before moving to Austin. I was just like, y'all can't touch me. Like, who are you? You were fear. I remember Rackle was a judge one time, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> we still think that we still do that. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> Uh, we can't be shady to her. She was me about on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Did she really? Did she really? <laughs> and so it's something, I was like shaving on the mic or something, and she. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> we might have the. Yeah, we might have the. Yeah. Uh, we love you, Lady Graco. We love you. <laughs> we do love you, Lady Graco. Yeah. We really do. Um, but yeah, uh, I wasn't getting booked or anything afterwards because like. Because you were a bitch. Because I was a bitch, and I was just like, "Oh, you want me to shave my chest?" No, like I was. Right. I'm going to write a lyric about my because we had to fucking write our own song. Oh, for the thing. Oh or it was supposed to be like a parody, and uh, I was just like, "I'm not going to shave my chest." Fuck it. And I hope yeah. it doesn't pick up my stomach growling. But did you just just growl? She said she was going to make us brownies. I lied. I didn't do it. Here we are. No, no brownies. No brownies. Are you? I thought it would be cute to be always baked and like always have like a baked good. Well, I guess we can't call it that yet. Not yet. Not yet. It's just some so creamy. Right. Soon to be baked. Soon to be baked. Yeah, to be baked. That's tonight's TV episode. TV baked. Yeah. TV baked. TV baked. Okay. TV baked. That's cute. <laughs> you got it. This body is gonna have a different name every single one of It has so far. Yeah, so far, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So you did. But yeah. So so um. Uh, I started doing my own shows because I couldn't get booked anywhere because I was a late brat. Is that the way? That's the way you fucking do it, though. And then I think people noticed me from that. Yeah, yeah, they did. And like you said, now I'm just a bitch. Now you're the fork at the bar. bar. Uh, why it pays the bills? It does pay the bills. It does pay the bills. And having a regular gig, y'all, having a regular gig is such a, um, it's a, such an undertaking that people don't understand because uh -huh. it's like that week comes so fast, girl. And then it's like, now you got, you're doing three, four numbers. So it's like, on top of all your other shows too. Right, right. And then you want to change outfits. And then it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And how do you like, so I, the thing that I find, like, I don't know, I like it. And I also don't like that. Like, I don't have a ton of time to like focus on things. But sometimes I think that's like better because it's like, I just knock shit out, mm -hmm. you know? And so I feel like that is a good thing. But I also sometimes I miss the days of like, I have like you know weeks to like think about a number. Same. Well, that's the thing. Like when you're first starting out, like trying to make a name for yourself, you're not booked. So you, when you are booked, you have like so much more time to like, like think of a concept and get a nice outfit for that specific number, one number. Number one. And now you're doing like three to five numbers a week, and it's just like huh? nearly. Yeah, I think maybe and you like you put those in numbers in your repertoire. You can't every number can't be like yeah. For sure. Would every number can't have like a full concept and have like, like so. have like props and I mean, I don't think the audience would want to see that all the time either. Like sometimes they do, but like it, all, every show with that is a lot. Right? Sometimes, I think sometimes, sometimes I, listen, and this is something very, very valuable that someone told me one time. Sable Cities actually taught me. She said, our job is to entertain. For sure. And sometimes it's not about you jacking off on stage and getting your fucking out. Sometimes it's entertain those people. Just make sure they have a good time for that. Right. Right, right, like, right. Like that. just do a song that people like. Because I've, I, you know, someone asked me on a podcast, another podcast, they were like, why don't Queens just do songs that people like? <laughs> right. And I was like, you know what? Like, to be honest, that is kind of true. It's a lot of like, it's a lot of like masturbation. It's like, I want to do what I want to do. And it comes, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, 
our job is to entertain and the job is to like make sure these people like have a good time and sometimes doing a number just for the sake of like it's entertaining is enough right it is well and also for sure and also well fuck i'm like lost my train of thought this happens when we fucking smoke well, let me hit that i'm like have an iron grips grips is that even the saying iron grip iron fist there's like a iron glass Bogart? You believe you're Bogart? No. Maybe Bogart is whenever you like hold on to the pipe too long. Me. You Bogart Mandy Quinn. <laughs> Literally though. Literally. If you ever are looking for your vape backstage, odds are it's in Mandy's hand. Mandy Quinn has. If it's yeah. been uh revealed. Uh yeah, she knows about it. It might be my vape, I try to not tell her until later on in the gig. Because otherwise she'll smoke the shit out of the whole thing the entire And then the entire show. complain that it tastes like coil. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Which I know that but suck a try. Suck a try. All right. Tastes like girl ale. Maybe. Not yeah. the helium effect. Oh my God. Um, Thank you to uh, Donary Frosting for not sponsoring us. Right. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. We're praying. Okay. What is up with all the fucking weed stores in Austin? And then they're all fake weed. Every single one of them. They're all fake weed. That's such bullshit. It's, it's silly. It's like the... Where do you our toe into the... Are they just like waiting for like the water? The, um, waiting for the moment where it's the glass so they can just become... It's just like, like when is it gonna happen? Because that shit is nasty. I don't fuck. It's so it. gross. It's like, it makes me feel weird. It doesn't. I mean, I it definitely gets you like high, kind of, but it's not like a good. I'm not a good high. It's not. It's not so. It feels different. It's not yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. I um. Yeah, I don't fuck with that. But I hate it because it's like you literally outdoor. It's like a weed leaf, mm-hmm. GHD for sale, and you're like. I mean, I know it's not, but... I don't like, mind the vapes as much as the actual flower. Have you smoked, like, actual butt? Oh, I would never... That shit's nasty. It looks dense. Well, I never, I never bought it either. I got it for free. Actually, I got it for free when I had the bingo. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did free. Which I would... I love THCA when I'm being paid to do a gig for them. Right, right. Love it. <laughs> we can love anything. We can love anything. <laughs> we can and we will love anything, okay? Okay, that's what I'm going to... Okay, so everyone, guess what? I was just contacted, and they, and they asked me... Okay, and this is something, I guess, everyone, you need to know if you're... An, influencer like i am now um, or we are i was asked for my rate sheet you are i wasn't asked. I, I was asked i was asked for my rate sheet and i was like what the fuck is a rate sheet but like, like yeah and then i looked it up and like yeah there's like you know what's funny is like there literally is like for like rate sheets for like actors like side actors uh there's lots of resources on that resources for theatrical actors and then resources for instagram influencers and i was like okay i guess that's what i am now you gonna fill something out it's like it literally is a business card or is it like what? It's a, it looks like a business card. It's a, it just says your name, how many followers you have, what percentage, like your post generally, like what your reach is generally. Um, and then for like how much you charge, like a story, a post, um, how much, um, what, like how much of like an undertaking it is, like it sort of has a range on there. It's like, but it's like a little business card. It has like all that stuff on it. And you have one now? I'm going to have to make one. Okay, work. Yeah, yeah. I just love that you were booked for a Disney gig. I know. I was booked for a Disney gig and I think it's something too. Maybe they're just open. They're like, we are going to get like the trashiest, dirtiest. I think my brother. I think my name it fools people a lot. They're like, cupcake. <laughs> yeah, which I kind of wanted to do. That's kind of the point of my name. A lot of it. Like, I want to like. It's still. It's so silly and stupid. Like, yeah, cupcake. You still haven't watched Star Booty, have you? No. Oh my oh, god, I'm terrible. I need to. If y'all don't know, okay, Star Booty is. RuPaul does not want this movie to exist anymore. Wait, you think? Oh, wow. That's that's really so oh, it's... Girl, she sucks dick in that movie. Wait, for real? She sucks dick like, for in her mouth. Girl, yes. Shut up. Yes. And, like, she is... Girl, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. And, like, there's, like... You're lying. I'm not lying, no. It's, okay, I have to watch. It is... She stomps on this dude nuts. God. And she's like, we're having pecan pie tonight. I remember. Like... She does. She goes off like it. And, like... I just love this scene of her where she's, like, talking about the upper... Oh, the <laughs> Annika hat or whatever. <laughs> Her, her pussy transplant. Her transplant. Her pussy transplant. <laughs> the entire premise of the movie is that she's the FBI agent who goes undercover as a hooker to save her fucking niece Cornisha Word. from Anna Commanders. They play uh, <laughs> fucking uh, Candace Kane. Candace Kane. And it's hilarious. Like, oh my God. Lady Bunny's in it. But I need to watch it. I it's missed it. Honestly, a shame that I haven't. But it literally came out right before Drag Race. And like, and then it was just like pushed. Girl, the pushed away because it's low budget, low budget, low budget. And like, it really yeah. sucks dick in, like, it. dick in it. Girl, she's like, dick. It's hilarious. It's crazy. That is insane. It's crazy. Yeah. So she does not want to do this, but you know what? I'm, I'm <laughs> and I thought it literally, it was like, she watched out and she's like, my name can't get And I was like, that's the stupidest name You're ever. Like, me. Me. That's me. Wait, was that your first drag name ever? Ever. 
ever it's been, been my only drug name ever must be nice what was yours first one samantha allen <laughs> how much does she cost how much does she cost you she paid you samantha like what inspired samantha allen samantha it's so cheesy samantha allen is my middle name okay and samantha my mom wanted to name me samuel and i was like well she couldn't get a samuel so i gave her a samantha so cringe That's and cringe. yeah that was my drug name and then i i think i did that for like six months and i was like no, this is not. Well, good. okay, but then noodles. Noodles is just a nickname I've always had. And so that that's. I mean, I think it's so smart. It's so like it's jarring when people are in the tell because I don't even think about it anymore. People love my. Anytime I introduce myself, they're like, oh yeah, it's just like that. I know they're all like, what the same what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> people are just like, what? I'm like, yeah. We have very millennial drag names. Do we? I feel like that's like the thing. From just like one name. One name. Yeah. But it was first name cup, last name motherfucking cake. Oh, okay. Yeah. People but, do, I call you cup sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Cut, cut rate. Cut rate. Cut rate. Cheapskate. <laughs> yeah. Cut chaos. Cake. Yes. Cup crack. Cut cake. Cut cake. Cup, cup, cup crack. Yeah. Cup crack. Yes. We saw that earlier. Hello. We can get the front today. Ooh, so. Um, we're not going to talk about how we look because Listen. we did just perform on it. Yeah. And this is, okay, it's something that I, um, in my life, I've just subscribed to is that like, um, Nobody's perfect all the time, and I'm not perfect ever. Yeah, there's a number of the same. And so I'm not going to pretend to be, and like, I hate the whole, like, it's just like so unattainable. Like, that's why I say cream all the time. Like, that kind of goes back to what we were saying with like, people don't always want just like a big production. They don't. They, they just want the realness they of do. like the I think, nasty bitch in the bar on a Thursday night. It's like, because people fucking relate with that. Yeah, like, for people sure. Relate. People like, that's been my whole thing. I just remember sitting there and be like, like seeing like someone perform this like beautiful like Whitney Houston's always standing there like this is beautiful and pretty but like no one in this bar is that person like no one mm -hmm. is like oh yeah girl that's me I've been there like <laughs> nobody you know and, like but when you're fucking rolling around the floor fucking doing some casual songs I'm, girls like I'm, that's me and people want to see themselves I think in art I'm not a ballad girl you are sometimes I don't know. I never I actually hold no on. you made me do that ballad you made me do it. I am telling you, and you hate for your birthday. birthday. You killed it though. You killed it. So, but like my wig almost came off. My shoes came off. It was, but I guess it kind of is like it, it's all moment. Yeah. yeah, it's like being being real in that moment. I think it's like that's the kind of. Art I think I just didn't like too. I get scared. Like when I'm performing, I get like I'm not trying to like. I used to get scared, but now like I, in my mind, like in my mind, everything that could possibly go wrong is going to go wrong, <laughs> literally. And so like I'm prepared for all that. And so when this happens, it's like okay, well. um, Drag to me is like getting through it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just getting through it, you know? Honestly, like getting so real. At the end of the day, like, yeah, getting through it all. And so I think that that it goes against what is like, I guess, becoming more and more popular in drag that like super really uh, outfits are super expensive. Like, outfits are super expensive. Everything is just super lit. All it. Kicks, yeah, it's like buy clips. Like, that's just not every single number. Every single number. I can't even do I hurt my hamstring. So I've been like trying to take it easy. You should. That's the thing. It's like, it's if, and I also can do it right now. A moment. So. Yeah. It works for a moment, but I'm going right now just thinking about it. <laughs> and like, it's like, it's all right. But it's when I was watching a video of myself from like a couple years ago where I did a handstand against the wall into the splits, and that shit was. Girl, so it goes, sometimes it goes off. It is amazing. It just, I was like, I wish I could still do that. You don't do that anymore? No. I literally like, Fuck. Like, I have, like, a bump on my the back of my leg from, like, oh, my no hamstring. Do you have up. insurance? No. Oh, I have, like, the shittiest insurance imaginable. Do you? Oh, I you? was, like, talking to my friend the other day because uh, I was, like, I feel like I have, I had, like, a weird cramp in, like, my, like, groin, my, like, groin, my uterus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uterus, my groin muscle. And, um, shit, what is that thing called when you're, when your intestine falls through. Yeah. Oh my God, like a fucking, uh, like a prolapse? No, or like no. a hernia. A hernia, oh my God. I was like talking to my friend, I was like, I feel like I have a hernia. Because uh, I remember I actually had a doctor's appointment like years ago and they were like, oh, you're like susceptible for a hernia because of like tucking, I think, because we put our balls in that. Oh my God, I've never heard that before ever. But anyway, so I was like, I think I have a hernia. <laughs> I don't know where I was even going with this story. The weed. But... <laughs> <laughs> but... I had to stop doing the splits because of, because of, because because of all the pain. You were afraid your intestines were going to come out of your apple. But well, anyway, so I was looking up. I was looking up hernia surgery. Right. Oh. We'll, we'll edit this. Uh, I was like, no. I was like, <laughs> I was looking up hernia surgeries, and it, it was like, he was like, oh, it's fine. Your your insurance like has to cover that because it's like, uh, it's like medical a medical emergency. 
deductible. And I was like, baby, not my insurance. He's like, what's your deductible? And I was like, it's like $8,000. You know what's eight thousand dollars for your deductible? You know, one thing about really good about being HIV positive. <laughs> you have fierce insurance. Well, I, I mean, my, so what happens is my deductible, like medicine, my, my medicine, Big Tarby is so, so expensive. It's like $7,000. Oh, but, but it gets covered by uh, like the, um, Gilead, the like manufacturer has like mm -hmm. a big coupon thing and they, it gets paid by them. However, my insurance, oh my God, I don't know if I should put this out there, but my insurance doesn't know that I'm not paying it or the, it doesn't even register that I pay it, but it gets paid by Gilead. So my entire deductible gets paid in the first month. Oh, wow. Yeah. It, it, so it looks like I paid like $7,000 for medicine. And so the rest of the year, I don't have to pay any, I'll have my deductible zero. Okay. That's cute. Yeah, it's cute. It's a few little bit. Well, like the bleep part. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't think I'm doing anything illegal. Like, I think that that's like, all right. Yeah. It's just like, well, I was like, so, you know, I had like my, I had like a month of just racked, riddled with STDs, riddled, <laughs> riddled with STDs, all of them. Bam, bam, bam. And I read all of them. I just, it was only gonorrhea, but everywhere. Or was it gonorrhea? It was gonorrhea. Yes. Celery and chlamydia are the same thing to me. Yeah, but one of them has a painful shot that okay. I can get. Well, you know what? Which is what I got. You know what's gonorrhea. crazy? I got the gonorrhea shot recently too. You know where they did it? In my fucking arm. You told me that. I remember you telling me that. They did my arm. Like they do it in your butt all. Like, did it hurt in your arm? Not at all. Bitch, with the like lower back butt. And girl, it is bad. Okay, you know what's funny? Have you ever seen porn and you can see that they have that shot? <laughs> no, I think I'm looking for. No, look at next time you're wearing like, a bandaid on. So it's, but you'll see a little bit by a lot of porn. Oh like, my God. God. No, but everyone on porn is in like, is on like, uh, dot oh, exactly. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they don't even have to worry about it. But anyway, so I had that like long moment in time where I had gonorrhea. Had gonorrhea. Got the shot. Had gonorrhea. Got the shot. One person after I got my shot. <laughs> got gonorrhea again. It runs rampant here. It is it too much. It. And then right after that, I got, this is TMI, but I had like a yeast infection basically in my butt. What'd you put up there? Girl, I think it was from like tucking. And oh, that's right. You talked about this. Listen, tucking, I, I, you don't think it, I don't think it causes a lot of things, but it, if you think about like, I remember seeing something with Sasha Velour talking about like she had like something happen with tucking where it like well, your balls was going to cause like physical harm to her. Oh, so she doesn't, she doesn't like tucking. stop tucking. I mean, it literally is tucking is awful. It's so, so, so the yeast infection. Oh, yeah. Um, well, why were we even talking about that with the medical insurance? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I had the yeast infection, and then when I was trying to figure out what that was, the fucking uh, I went to urgent care. Oh, right, right. Well, they actually came to me. Which is insane. Which is everything, though. Because I did the came by my house. It was like an hour wait. And there was not a soul in the waiting room. Girl, you hate that. Oh, Jessica, I baby. Hate that. Come on. You got else? You've been wild. Um, so, so, yeah. So, they were like, oh, we well, we want to do an STD test. And I was like, I don't have any STDs. I just got tested. I just yeah. got my results back. <laughs> I was like, I don't have any. They're like, uh, I think I was waiting for my results. I think I had just gotten a test. And they were like. Oh well, we still want to. We still think it would be a good idea to do a routine check, and they're like, "It would. It's going to be eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars." And I was like, "Oh hell no! Because I get it for free." Yeah, yeah. Like, that's well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah, my insurance ain't shit. Also, the fact that that shit is so expensive, which is insane. It's like like your medication like, being who I know who who can afford that. Like literally, no one can afford that. I don't think. I mean, it's insane. but it's crazy because there must be some people that do. I mean, I think if you make a certain amount over, you have to like the reason why I get the coupons because I make like less than those. Right, right, right. Yeah, but the le the amount is like hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Right. So I mean, we're not. I'm close, but not there. Yeah, we're getting there. Getting there. Yeah. Next year, yeah, maybe. Now that this podcast is taking off, go get there. Yeah, right there with this new income, girl. You know what's insane to me? Okay, so I'm we'll talk about this right now. I guess why not? Wait, how much is the Disney gig paying you? Oh yeah, you told me. Yeah, yeah. It's your rate. It's my rate. It's my rate. They have to make a rate card. Okay, it's be bread over one. Really. It's and you know what it comes to like and I really can pick how much I want to, to like get pay me. So it's like what do I if you think about it, like how much with everything expenses everything, how much do you think you actually make an hour? It was like how much it costs your makeup, your hair, your fucking outfit, everything, like per hour, how much do you think you end up making? You know? Like doing drag? Doing drag, yeah, working. Um, I calculate it sometimes. I mean, I would like to like give the actual number, but I don't ever, I don't ever really incorporate my outfit because like, yeah, most of my outfits I like hold on to for a pretty long time. So it's not like I'm like regularly, right. But like, it, like, I don't, I feel like it's not going to like take out that much from each hourly, you know? Right. But I mean, just the investment of the outfit. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's for, like, how much you spend like monthly on outfits? Like, 
girl. I never factored outfits into it, which is a lot. Yeah, I mean, well, not from like I said, not from me. I don't buy. I don't buy that many new outfits. That's true. You make a bunch. Yeah, which is good. I mean, that's but then I do buy some stuff. Yeah, I mean, still have to buy materials and stuff. Like yeah, that. it just I really like. So I mean, I feel like. You make stuff now too. I do make stuff now. I got a sewing machine. You make two dresses. I made two dresses. Yeah, and I like sews. Oh, there's a fabric. Sews stuff. Yes. The fact that somebody stole was the first dress you ever made. Or that's kind of like a. Um, it's like compliment. it is a compliment, right? No, it's totally a compliment. I really think it is. Like I and girl if I ever. There's only there's only two of those. Well, the best thing would be is if you wore. It out and then saw the bitch wearing it out yeah, the same she, night yeah. and then you were I like would, then it was not would, only like they would that bitch stole my outfit but she also like literally stole literally it. stole like it's like literally and you know what i would do i would i would <laughs> i would they, they probably they probably left town they didn't, I, they better they didn't want to face your rat i you know what's crazy is every person they it could have possibly stolen that without that gig that night i follow on instagram now and I look at every one of their goddamn stories and pictures. Because one day I'm gonna see, gonna see it. One day I'm gonna see a sliver of that bag in someone's picture, like a little in the corner. What was the bag? The Whataburger? The, the, the Whataburger bag. My fucking Whataburger bag. Like, sad. first of all, that thing is like, you would not, you're not gonna take that. No, it's like a fucking bag. bag. You're gonna see it. It's like so bright and like huge. And then like, girls, so many outfits were there. Like, I, what was the actual brand for that? Was it just like a it, random? You know, I got it at um, Goodwill. Oh, it was a brand on it. I, it was really looking. It was like good. It was really good for drag. It was great for drag. Big and it's fucking jacked. Girl, I, I can't believe that was the first thing time that someone sold it. Like, okay, one time, bad things that happened to me. One time, a girl, it's a long time ago, a girl backstage did not like my attitude. And so, put my, grabbed my wigs from my bag and put them in the sink and turned the water on. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They did. Like, and you were going to wear that? I was performing. And I came back and all my hair was like wet and wet into the sink. Did you wear it still? Actually, I'm I, think it, I think one of them, my dad made like a wet, a wet messy look. And it was like, fuck it. <laughs> did, how did you feel afterwards? Because uh, I hate wet hair on my back. No, okay, literally, I it did just I did a sad girls one. Oh, it's and I I wore. I think I did like hard rain by Leaky Lee, and I just like had my human hair wig, and I like went into the to the sink at Swan Dive and just like wet it before my number, and then I my shirt just got like soaked. Everything, and it just was not, and it was not the vibe. You like oh, and it slaps the back of your fucking mm-hmm. back, and it's a way wet well, like. Oh God! These, yeah, I don't like that shit at all. That's disgusting. It can be. You had it for. You, I feel like you did that wet hair moment for a minute. Mm-hmm. You had like a phase. Did I? I put gel in hair a lot. Yeah, but that's that's what you need to do instead of the. I like to actually get any wet. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I, I need to learn how to do everything better. I need to learn how to do everything better. That's the thing. Drag is like you. I feel like it's you've got to know a, a million mm-hmm. different things, like how to do a million different things, and like. But nobody knows them all. Nobody knows them all. Is like, yeah, yeah. Who are better at right. other things and out there? I, I always, in my head, I imagine drag is like a score out of 100. Like, you can, if you, 100 out of 100 is like, nobody does that. Like, that's every right. perfect thing ever they can put together. So it's like, as long as you're like in like the 80s. Like, Did you ever play RuneScape? No. So RuneScape is kind of like a, it's an online multiplayer role playing. MMORG. MMORPG. Yeah. Whatever the fuck the, the actual thing yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Where you like pipe. Where you type, but like in that game, you have different skills and you right. like get them to like, ma- like, just like max them out. And right. I'm like a master. I think, I think of it as that's like kind of what drag is like. It's yeah. like, I you think have to like, it's like RPG. You just sure. put your experience into certain little areas mm-hmm. and like level up. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there are people who say they level up their drag. Yeah. What level would you be? Um, I think I'm in like the, if I, we're basing like a whole drag like career from like one to like a hundred. Where would you say you're at? Like in like time length or like no no like just in like in like grow in like I just think, like what level like, are you at? I think I'm at like a seventy five. Okay. Or seventy seventy five. What is your like main skill? My main like, performing. Okay. Before we are hosting. See. I think like my microphone like skills are like mm-hmm. good. And I think I know I know how to put together like a performance like mm-hmm. number. I always tell Mandy like you always just like sell the fantasy yeah i think i can that's what i I can like go into yeah but like you are like i feel like you're always feeling it yeah 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 i have like i never like see you perform where you're like you can like see yeah 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 well i feel like with other people like myself included you can like kind of tell if someone's in their head every now performance is not my what is your number one my number one skill uh i don't know i feel like mine are all kind of like like i have a bunch that are like I mean, I it definitely. Or still, still somewhere in like the look area. 
I think in the in the uh presentation, the presentation, the presentation I think yeah, presentation sure. would be sure. my main I think that's that's yeah. that is a the whole block of it. That presentation is huge like what you look at. I also think my like heart. Yes. Oh, I would agree with that. I would agree with that too. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I feel like we both, um, we both have heart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's like that sounds like narcissistic in a way, but I mean like heart in the sense of like you can tell that you love your love it. yeah yeah appreciate you're, what you're doing and you put thought and effort into totally that's what people will compliment me on yeah it's a fully you're like a fully rounded thing yeah you know and like i just like you scent would also be a high scent a high okay yes yeah, that's good i don't yeah. think i smell like anything ever cigarettes i don't even think you smell like cigarettes really that weird and you kind of don't have a smell i know you were saying tonight that you don't wear deodorant which is crazy i don't wear deodorant but like years. like you said i've never actually like i do smell i don't smell it's, it's so, so weird. weird. I sweat. I sweat, and I will. Smell. I sweat, but I don't smell. I smell when I don't wear perfume or deodorant. I feel so. I'm like, oh god. See what's weird? Gross. I don't feel like perfume or deodorant even sticks to me. Like, I don't perfume think. does stick to me. I think it would. If do you have any like nice perfume? I'm. But I have. You know, I have. I have. I've had many perfumes, and I put them all in, and I smell it for a little bit. And people, you need to put more on. I put a lot on. You need to be like, grot, grot. I like. One thing I learned from Very Delta, spray the hand. I spray, I spray the hand. For having tips, the, oh, I smell them. See, that? there's no way that fragrance would stay on my hands that long. I don't know why, but things just don't stick to me like that. I love getting complimented on my smell. I, because I always, I tell everyone, like, bitches will lie to your face and say you look good. But I, no one will look <laughs> in the face and be like, you smell you good. Smell great. You smell like shit. No one's going to be like, you true. smell good. But when people oh think you smell good, they mean it. Can I tell you, okay, so speaking of smelling shit. <laughs> that okay that drag queen smells like shit drag queen smells like <laughs> shit girl what y'all one time i would walk into the bar and I had actually been shit on <laughs> and then <laughs> i did i did when this is the fucking sound bite one time i was walking into the bar and i'd actually <laughs> understand i should have shit on literally in my life and i i'd been shit, the hair had been shit on and i'd rinse it out like your whole face it was a my body bo- the outfit i changed outfits but the hair was still like but it was on your body. It was on my, it was on my body. Yeah, it was on my body. It was uh, after you went out. Is crazy. I, I had to. I had to. We had to go. I mean, I was like, I, I was, she got shit on in her number because she would. I can't stand the rain and like had somebody put douche water. Okay, well, shit, douche water onto her face. Right, but there wasn't your face. It was gonna be on my chest. Okay. Oh, the original. Okay, so this is what happened. The idea of the number was tragedy. The idea of the number was I, was, I can't stand the rain, and whenever I went to the window. There was gonna be a, an ad, just an asshole there. It was gonna point out rain at me. Every time I can't stand the rain. Shh. I thought it was hilarious, right? It is. Funny. It's funny, right? It's funny. And so the problem was, is I <laughs> had it all set up. My friend was gonna do it. They were like, okay. And right the day of the fucking show, I like was like, you know what? That the score comes too early. Like it comes too early. The number. Do you think you could do it twice? Mm-hmm. And they were like, I have enough time. Sure, well, I can do it twice. Why not? And I was like, okay, for the second time, like, one me at the window, and the other one, I want you to, I'm going to lay back, like, on the table, and I want you to just, like, cascade me in, like, <laughs> in water from your butt. They're like, okay. And so, number's happening. I'm going to the window. I can't stand in the rain. Psh, beautiful liquid. It's it's perfect. How does the crowd react? Like, they, a gag, hilarious. I mean, there's a video of it. Okay, work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm video. Sure. They're loving it. Um, And then, you know, as the, the, the liquid was red, they're spraying on me. I don't know why I wanted it to be rough. I, I, and so he, they said this is in the aftermath. They, oh, like then he squirted it. Happened. was red. Yeah. They, they, they thought that maybe the press, the food coloring of the water, like upset their stomach. <laughs> and so, something stirred they, their stomach. Well, also, but, sometimes I feel like you like douche and like there's, you there's, think it's all gone. You think then, you know your body, but you don't. And then all of a sudden, there's like one more like flesh that needs to come. Right. Well, apparently, yes, that's what happened. So I lay back and I'm like, I can't stand the rain. And they're on top of me. And girl, what I'm going to say that I, chunky water came out. Ew. Chunky water. And I, I, it splattered. It splattered. Girl, it's bad. I was like, I can't stand the rain. And you can see on the video my face. I'm just like. And anyway, she went out after that. Yeah. I thought, yeah I, I, the fact that you didn't go home. I would have gone. I went. I would have Girl, but you had makeup on still. I didn't. So you didn't wash your face that. You didn't wash your face that. And you're like, it wasn't to me. It was like it was all soaked, all the sheets, and everything. It was, it was. I I don't know. Why, I honestly don't know why I went out. I was very drunk, probably. Yeah, I, and and I had. I walked fun. through the bar. I it was fucking Astros, and my friend who was working the door 
ran up to me. Oh my god, girl, you, you just walked by this group of people and they're walking out and they said that track queen smells like shit. <laughs> and I was like, I actually do smell like shit. I've been shit on. <laughs> the only thing you've ever been. Uh, oh, the only scent. The only scent ever stuck to me was shit. <laughs> great, great. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. It's okay. Uh, shit happens. I have, I listen, uh, we, we you really do. We Zach did a video where I, um, <laughs> it was in South by Southwest, like poo poo platter video. And it was like at the end of the video, we had like uh, different ways to use like your douche bottle mm -hmm. as like a, 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 a festival gear. Mm -hmm. And we use a bunch of different ways. And then uh, mine was a, um, wait, why, why did, oh, it was to get like a smoothie or like nutrients or something. And then, so I put it up my butt. And then the very last scene was like me, like shitting out a green liquid. I like, <laughs> ah, yeah, all over. Yeah. And, um, yeah. I, I just think that I'm surprised we didn't have a douche when we did the cream promo involved. Oh gosh, I guess we should have. Yeah, I've had like douche some whipped cream on top. Oh, I think I'm, I think honestly, I think I'm traumatized after being shit on. I don't think I, to me, douching is a thing that needs to be done in private. Yeah, in a toilet with it for sure. Honestly, and I'm gonna tell you this right now. I got I just wanted the bottle like that being the A artistic the bidet. The the the, the, bo the douche bottle is triggering. Oh, it was like seeing it. I just, it just like brings back memories. That's why you have to be a top. That's why we're top down because yeah. I, if you're the douche, that's why. <laughs> Me uh, too. I just, the bidet has changed my life. Oh, absolutely. Now I think back to the. Now when you poop in a toilet that doesn't have a bidet, you're just like, I'm, this is barbaric. I'm disgusted. Yeah. Like, what am I, like, you have to wipe and like actually see poop on the toilet paper. Oh, my God. And it's like, <laughs> and also they're like, flip it. <laughs> and someone told me they thought about it. They're like, if you, if some dog came and shit in your fucking. Would you just take a paper towel and wipe it out and then just go on your way? No, girl. You would get water and wash it out. Like, right. Come on. That's like your butt hair. Like, right. that's your butt. Like, right. going right. there. Like, okay, man. Fun fact. I know because of my yeast butt infection, infection, like, washing your butt, like, changes the pH of it. I maybe it like gets rid of some of the natural oils that are produced. Well, is it douching that does that? Or just no, no, no. no just just washing it. it. Washing the outside of it. Yeah. I know what's up, just water. I just do water. The day's just water. Well, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're scrubbing, someone told me though, yeah, someone told me that the one thing you need to exfoliate every day is not your face, it's your asshole. Interesting. They said you should exfoliate your Why? Because that's why it's kind of brown. <laughs> I think so. I think. I mean, I, and they said you should exfoliate that because it's like, that's the that so But I don't know if you're maybe right about the pH value. I don't know. I just know that like, I stopped <laughs> washing my butt during that period when you used to like i wouldn't even like let soap like get near it because it was like i was like worried about the... can you imagine that's what's having a vagina is always like oh it's too much it's so much i feel so much for women like having a pussy would be so difficult it really would we just want to we done we can be done we can be done i don't know yet <laughs> Is that it? That is literally the outro. No, no, can we be done? Never done. All right. I know. Um, everybody... <laughs> Bye later. I guess it's always only clips anyway. Yeah. It, well, we're going to re argue the whole full episode. This will probably be a full episode that you're actually seeing. So, wow. Um, it's a whole full episode. I'm always baked. My name is Cupcake. This is my guest, Noodles. She comes to us every Thursday and cream. She us online. We get newts, noodles. Um, thank you for having Of course. Thank you for being here. It's fucking awesome. We are after a show. Where well, you are the podcast queen. I feel I am the podcast queen. I'm the queen of the future. Oh, okay. with the 3D printing, podcasting. Oh my god! Honestly, though, and the first original or the first live stream drag show. Bam! I'm you really are the queen of the future. Maybe that's your new title. Cupcake queen of the future. <laughs> Be scared of the future. Be scared of the future. Yeah, truly, that is a dead terrifying future. Oh well, we'll see you then. Cool. See you in the future. Sure. Uh, <laughs> yay! Bye.